Yo, what is going on everyone? We are back with another video and this time we are going to be watching Honkai Impact 3rd's animated short Thus Spoke Apocalypse. As we all know, Honkai Impact did release a teaser trailer for this specific animation. Uh, a few, I think it was like a, a week or two back, but we did watch it and ended up being nice. There was like a few things that we didn't really understand, but I'm pretty sure it kind of explains it in this animation. And if not, it's going to explain before the animation happens in the main story. Because this animation is being released before Honkai actually released the next story chapter, which pretty much has this animation as a part of it. So something happens that leads up to this. So technically, this animation is a big spoiler. So pretty much for anyone who, who is watching the animation before playing the story, you're pretty much going to get spoiled yourself. And I'm just like... This video's been out for a minute now, like a few days, and I've been curious, like, they're, they're not releasing this next story chapter, so I'm all like, you know what, let me just watch this animated short, because it is what I did last time with the other Honkai animation, it had to do with, like, the Theater of Domination, uh, Hair Share Flame Sound, pretty much, and that was really nice. I, it was the same thing as this one, they released the animation before the story came out. So this video is going to be nine minutes long, guys. So let's not stop for too long and let's check it out. Whew. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. I like the story how it is right now. It Want to change the world. Ooh, actual anim anime quality. Ooh. These visuals, though. Oh, that's the imaginary tree. Right. Oh, that's why they're green. Okay. Oh, and they bring the Kalen side of the story too. Yeah, where she's gonna get executed. <sighs> He's pretty much just trying to bring her back for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah. It makes sense for him to be that strong. In the game, you actually fight him. And I gotta say, this guy's insane. Oh, I think he's getting corrupted. So this is where the teaser ended off on. Okay. Yeah, pretty much there's no way to stop this guy once he has his mind on something, that's for sure. They emphasize it in the story. There we go. There's the creature. Wait. Huh? Hmm? Is this a different timeline? Oh, 
the oath of Judah. Okay, okay. sense kind of like what it does in the game my bad if I'm talking loud because this is this video is loud So it's like parallel, parallel worlds. Like I said, this guy cannot be stopped. Now save her. Oh, now that he touched the tree. Okay. This is intense. Hmm. Oh, he's actually doing it. Sending the world back. <laughs> so now she doesn't end up dying. But oh, that's weird though. I'm gonna I'm note this for the end of the video. She was supposed to be hung. But now shows her getting hit by the Honkai beast. Kali. Hmm. So he saved her. By the cost of himself? Okay, the toy airplane from the story. So I think this is just flashbacks. Because we kind of saw this in the main story, I think. Okay, banger music, I gotta say. What are these things that's showing though? I got literally no comment right now. Like, there's no way he dies, right? There's no way. This guy's literally the main villain. I want to see Callan. Where's my Callan at? Oh, there she is. Hmm? 
Okay. Oh, what a good animation. Okay, okay, I see you, Mihoyo, I see you. Okay, so I don't know how smart it was to watch this animation before getting the context be I already know like before it's kind of it kind of already led up to it, but not really. I don't know. They they didn't release the next chapter yet. So that's why I'm all like I'm a little bit confused because the beginning it makes sense, but after it just leaves it off like that. I'm guessing that's for after the animation happens in the main story. So I don't know if it was too smart to watch this animation. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys uh, watched the animation too and kind of feel like it was kind of a mistake to watch it before the actual story comes out. Let me know in the comments below. All I got to say is there is a lot of stuff to decipher in this video, but I'm not going to go through every single little thing because there's just so much. But there are, there are two main things I want to focus on, maybe three. So the first one is the how Callan dies so originally in the story she dies because she was hung and that was the pretty much how she died but now in this animation it shows that she got hit by a honkai beast so that's where i'm all like this is either something that happened in a parallel universe of i mean part of the uh, a different branch of the imaginary tree or it was the main way she died but it was just kind of like hidden no one was there to pretty much report it i don't know honkai is already in the multiverse type of uh story right now so it, it could literally be anything at this point all i gotta say is i hope that she is actually well it's a bad thing if she gets revived and auto and auto gets his way but i kind of want kellen back i want to see what happens i'm curious to see what happens when auto like wins and i think that's what he did in this animation because right here it shows him touching the imaginary tree and pretty much as we all know, well, most of us know, his main goal is to pretty much send the whole world back in time besides the one town that they're in right now, the, the main town uh, that Kalen's from. So the rest of the world is going to go back 500 years, but that city is, is going to be untouched. So pretty much the world will not exist. It will go back to how it was 500 years ago. That, that's basically his plan. And now that he touched the imaginary tree, pretty much nobody stopped him. Like... I'm guessing that was the tree trying to to like stop him by sending the clones and then the one beast. Uh, they were all green, by the way. And like, I'm guessing it was not Honkai. But now that he actually reached the tree, he pretty much had the power to do anything he wanted. So I'm guessing that he actually succeeded in his plan. But all I want to know is, because we saw him turn into like lots of lights coming off of the sky. I want to know, like, did he die? Like, did he sacrifice, sacrifice himself to bring back Kalen? What happened? I have no idea because it did. He did say in the animation that she has to live on pretty much for him. Uh, it wasn't exactly like that, but that's kind of what I got. And I'm guessing he pretty much sacrificed himself so she could come back. That's what I'm taking out of it. So yeah, as always, every single animation that Mihoyo puts out for Honkai, at least Honkai. I don't know about Genshin. Genshin is all right, but Honkai is where the quality animation is at. I think this is where, where all their budget goes. Because this animation, like, it had good visuals, it had good music, pretty much the battles, the scenes, like, just the environment, everything was perfect. Like, I have not given any MiHoYo animations in terms of Honkai a 9 out of 10. They were all 10 out of 10, easy. MiHoYo really knows what they're doing, and I hope they actually make an anime for Honkai Impact in the future. So people who don't get a chance to play the game, or maybe people who don't want to play the game, they could instead watch the anime and see what happens. I'm actually curious to see if Mihoyo plans to do that. So as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this animation. If you guys are hyped for it, if you like the, the story where it's going, uh, let me know in the comments below. And in the description below, we do have a link to my Discord. We talk about anything Honkai, anything Genshin, anything anime in general, or just anything in general. So feel free to join that guys. And as always, I'll catch you guys next video. Have a good one.